What's up guys, my name is TechNumber here for Troubleshoot and in today's video, I'm going to show you something that's rather niche, though it may be useful for you. So basically, if you own an NVIDIA GTX graphics card, then you have an NVENC, an NVDEC, encoder and decoder on your GPU. And for consumer graphics cards that aren't Quadro or one of those higher end ones, there is a limit imposed on the software level on how many streams you can have going concurrently. I.e., if I'm editing video in Premiere Pro, recording it with OBS, and making a time lapse with something like Bandicam using NVENC, then I'll have a hard limit that I reach, and one of those pieces of software will stop working because there's a limit usually of two NVENC streams running concurrently on consumer graphics cards. And in order to run more than that, you'll have to spend thousands of dollars on a much more expensive graphics card. And that's not the only reason that you may want to go and do this workaround where you modify the drivers to go ahead and lift that limit completely. From what I've heard, it's also useful for simultaneous transcoding using Plex and people having issues recording and playing games using something like the Oculus Link. Basically, this video will show you how to lift that max number of concurrent sessions that you can run on your PC. Now, of course, this is for Linux, Windows, and possibly other things, but in this video, I'll only be covering the Windows one. Without getting into the reasons of why you can do this, why you shouldn't do this, etc, etc, I'm purely going to show you how to do this if you're curious and you want to use it for something. If you have a use for this video, great, then this may be of help to you. Though, of course, I doubt there'll be any damage that could be done to your graphics card or PC, but of course, editing drivers could cause any number of issues. So, with all of that aside, disclaimer, this video is only showing you how to do this. Whether you choose to do it or not is completely up to you. As far as I know, NVIDIA lifted the limit from 2 to 3 recently, which makes my point invalid, and I'll probably go ahead and undo this once I'm done with it, but it does work properly as you'd expect. So anyways, to jump into the video, I'll be working with this GitHub page over here, which will be linked in the description down below. NVIDIA patch by Keylace on GitHub. With 1.2 thousand stars plus, 88 watching, 165 forks, and relatively recently updated, this is probably the best place that you can get it. Scrolling down a bit, you'll find some information on it, and you'll find a link to the Windows version over here. I'll be opening this in a new tab, and this Windows link will also be down in the description below. These two GitHub pages are mostly the same, just this one over here is for Linux. As you can see, we'll have a version table with all of the supported versions of the NVIDIA drivers, as well as what patches it supports. So NVENC patch and the NVFBC patch. Scrolling down, the latest version supported for Linux is 450.36.06, and you can go ahead and click a download link to go ahead and download it. Then you can follow the steps and patch the driver yourself. Though, if we have a look at the Windows tab over here, things are mostly the same, but a little bit different at the same time. If we scroll down, we find a step-by-step -step guide, which we'll be following in this video now. Then scrolling down further, we reach a version table for Windows 10 drivers, and we'll see product series, GeForce, which is most likely what you'll have, the supported version, and a link to the patch for 64-bit PCs, 32-bit PCs, and a download link for the driver. Scrolling down to the very bottom, we'll see the most recent supported one for GeForce is 446.14. So what we'll need to do is open up this driver link in a new tab, or of course, whichever one you're deciding to download, and it'll download the official NVIDIA driver off of the official NVIDIA website. Then I'll go ahead and select either 64 or 86, and I'll right click on it and click save link as. Then we'll have whatever name it has. All we need to do is simply rename it so that it ends in .1337 and the file type is 1337 as such. After saving it, possibly replacing it, we're done with the preparation part of this video. Of course, if you have a Quadra card, you can look at this table and a Windows 7, 8 or 8.1 PC. Here are the links for that. Then as well, Windows Server 2008, 2012, 2012 R2, and down here, 2016, 2019. And at the very bottom, a link to a Plex Media Server benchmark, somewhat related to this. So scrolling up to the very top, we'll go back to the step-by-step -step patch guide, and we'll be following this. So number one, download and install the latest NVIDIA driver supported by this patch. I downloaded it over here. I'll simply open it up, click yes when prompted for admin, okay, and we'll wait for it to extract. Then of course we can go ahead and select GeForce Experience with our driver or just the graphics driver. Agree and continue, custom, next. And of course, once you select what you want, I'll just be installing the graphics driver and physics. I'll go ahead and click next, though of course I'll need to stop and close OBS in order for this to finish. 
Then once the graphics driver has installed, we'll follow on with step two. We'll download the latest WinLead Apply patch tool from this link over here, which will also be in the description down below. Last updated two years ago, simply click the WinLead Apply patch 1.9 by defox.rar and download it. Then open it up with whatever RAR Explorer you want. I'm using 7-zip. I'll extract it to my desktop and I'll close out of the RAR. Heading back to the guide, all we have to do is open up the patch tool and we'll have this over here. Though most likely these will be empty for you. So all we need to do at the very top where it says 1337 file, we'll click the three dots and we'll head into our downloads folder. Simply select the one that we downloaded earlier. For me, it's this one over here and click open. Then we'll be asked to find this DLL over here. Looking at the guide over here, what we need to do is apply the patch to this file over here for 64 bit or this one over here for 32 bits. All we need to do is inside of this file browser, click at the very top and type in percentage WINDIR window percentage and hit enter. That'll take us to C Windows. Then we'll find system 32. Double click on it and we'll scroll down to the very bottom. After all of these files, you should see only one file selected, NV encode API 64.dll. And of course, if we're using the 32-bit patch, you'll see NV encode API.dll without 64. Then I'll click open and we'll see this over here. All we need to do is click patch. If you see an error like this, then you've possibly already run it and you'll need to reinstall your NVIDIA driver if you'd like to go ahead and patch it again. Though, of course, because I've already run it and I'm recording it currently, I can go ahead and ignore that. Though, if you do run into some other kind of error, make sure that you have OBS, Discord, etc, etc closed or possibly just restart your PC and then run it. Then the patch should complete successfully and you should be able to run more than two or three concurrent NVENC streams on your PC at once. Of course, this was the Windows guide. And if you need any help or assistance, make sure to check this GitHub page for a lot more info or any of the threads that it links to. And to do this on Linux, check this GitHub page over here, which is also linked down in the description below. Anyways, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technobber here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.